So the paper uh, and the work that I've been doing with Elena Catania is to look very much at the normal development of the human striatum. And the striatum is particularly important for the work that I do uh, because the concentrate on a disease called Huntington's disease where early pathology is found within that structure. So the ultimate gain uh, with what we're trying to do is to replace the striatal cells which are lost as part of Huntington's disease by some equivalent, whether it be from a stem cell source or a fetal source. And Ellen has been very keen on making these uh, cells from a stem cell source and in order to validate that the cells you get at the end look like the cells uh, that are there in the uh, original state, uh, we've been looking at human development of the striatal system with uh, Eleanor. So this has involved collecting fetal tissue, human fetal tissue of different ages, and then uh, staging it and then staining it for a series of markers to show the uh, when the transcription factors and various other markers come on as the striatum normally develops. Uh, from around uh, early, the earliest stages we've got is three to four week old uh, human fetuses up to 11 and 11 and a half. And by verifying those markers in the normal human development and correlating them with what you see with striatal cells derived from stem cells, you can say whether they are actually one of the same.